What's up gang, welcome to this series. Uh, today I'm gonna create a new series called Journeys and what this is gonna be is a story of me traveling with my cameras and taking random film photos. It's not gonna be as serious as any of the tutorials that I've been doing. It's gonna be like a vlog style, me going around town snapping random things and getting yelled at doing street photography, weird things like that. I hope you guys enjoy. I thought it would be something fun to do. Also, this is just gonna be videos of how I take photos. 90% of the time, my shots are really bad. So if you guys are interested in this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and tap that like button. Or tap the dislike button, if that's your thing. So this series, I guess it's the first series, I wanted to talk about my trip to LA. I went to LA February with a group of friends who also do photography as well. They're not doing film yet, but I'm in the process of converting them, so hopefully that will be soon. Uh, so one of the friends and his girlfriend wanted to go to LA for a weekend in February, so of course I decided to third wheel and invade their party. And then another friend of mine decided to come from Korea to invade the party as well. <laughs> we ended up basically drinking a lot and taking a lot of photos. And this was before I signed the deal with myself that I will no longer shoot digital and sold my A7 III. There will be some digital shots here. Um, if you don't like it, just skip past it, but I'll include it. So we arrived at the LA airport at night. Basically the first night, I guess, we didn't take any photos because I was lazy. So LA introduced this new taxi system in their airport. And it took an hour for us to get out of that. <laughs> so we decided to take some photos instead. After that, we went back to our place, which was in downtown LA, and we... Drunk. Nobody drunk. And woke up early. But being in downtown LA, we decided to do some street photography because you see a really, really interesting crowd of people. And I used to do a lot of street photography, and I haven't done it in a while, so I wanted to try it out and see what I get. After a few hours of street photography, we decided to go get some brunch because I am a sucker for brunch and I am a huge foodie. I will eat anything and everything whenever I'm traveling. We went to a restaurant called Perch. It was super up class and I didn't feel like I belong, but I still got some cool shots. So guess it was worth it. So the weekend I was at LA was when the Oscars was happening. So me and my friends decided to go down to Hollywood. Being the film photographer I am, I decided to get some coffee, dark roast. After we chugged that, we decided to go out and take some photos. I wanted to meet the almighty director of Bong Joon-ho, but instead we got kicked out. So we just took some photos instead. If 
if you are enjoying this video so far, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and tap that like button. After we walked around the Hollywood stars, we decided to go to the beach. And where better to go than Santa Monica Pier? Santa Monica Pier was actually really awesome. This was before any of the outbreak happened, so it was filled with people. Interesting people. So I got my street photography hat on. I took some shots with my Mamiya 645 with the Ilford HP5 because I was feeling some black and white and I was shooting Fuji Pro 400 with my Contax T2. I was so excited, I was firing at all cylinders. I only ended up getting a few shots but it was worth it. I also took some digital shots if you guys are interested. By the end of the trip, I captured one shot that I absolutely loved. It was my last shot on the Kodak Gold 200 from after visiting Hollywood and that was enough. That shot made the whole trip. After the sunset, we just called it a day and we decided to get something to drink and we passed out. Being the fool that I am, I didn't bring any more film rolls with me, so that was pretty much the summary of the trip. But in seriousness, this trip was a lot of fun and being that we are all quarantined right now, it's one of the trips that I look back and think to myself, wow, I just took the whole trip for granted. It was a lot of fun. Once this quarantine's over, I'm gonna travel. I won't be here. Special thanks to Chris and John for joining me on that trip, or I guess I invaded his trip, but anyways. Let me know below in the comment section your favorite shot in this video. And if you like this series, let me know as well. I have more ideas for what I want to do with this series. You'll see another one, hopefully, pretty soon, unless I'm gone. But anyways, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, tap the like button or dislike button because it helps out a lot, even if you dislike the video. And I hope I can share more of these with you guys. Thank you. Stay safe and David out. No, wait, that's not what I do. David out.